Welcome to day 667 in my Hex and Pulse Chain journey. I hope you're doing all great. Thanks for my latest subscriber, Fernando Silva. Welcome to the Hood Brother. And please now make sure to hit that like button. Let's get this video up to 600 likes. Hit that subscriber button and turn on post notification to get notified for every new video. And now let's get started with today's episode. So today's video is an emergency update. The test net for the Pulse Chain is out and up and running. So let's jump right into it. We have a few sites we can check it. GitLab with the Pulse chain repository is already updated. You can see you have here the main repository of Go Pulse. You have the Pulse faucet for some free tokens on the testnet, and you have the Pulse chain testnet. So we're gonna have a quick look over the three pages. Let's start with the Pulse chain testnet. This is the newest one. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see the files in here, and then you have as well a little text and a little introduction how to connect and to configure everything. The first part is connecting MetaMask. If you would like so, but I would not recommend to use your productive wallet, just use a test wallet. You can already connect your MetaMask wallet to the Pulse Chain testnet. And down here, you have also the information about how to connect a Pulse Chain node on the Pulse Chain testnet. So if you scroll further down, it's really, really easy. All you need is quite a decent space of storage. You need two files, the config.tumble file and the genesis.json file. And after that, you can already run your Pulse Chain testnet in a Docker. You just need to follow this command here just to initialize the genesis block file after that you can start your pulse node on the testnet with the following command so it is really really easy and we will see in a second that we have already some nodes up and running some transactions are going on but first let's continue on gitlab the second repository you can see is the go pulse this will be the main pulse repository where you find all the necessary software if you want to build a node or a validator node for example and the last repository is the pulse faucet this is just used that you can get some free tokens to transact on the Pulse Chain testnet. If you scroll further down, you can see how you can access this faucet, how you can get some tokens that you can transact on the testnet. So the first site I can show you already is scan.pulsechain.com. This is the block explorer for the upcoming Pulse Chain. And I'm really, really happy to see we have even a night mode. So night mode activated. You can see average block time of three seconds for the moment. So a new block is minted every three seconds. And down here, you can see it's even faster than three seconds sometimes if we scroll down a little bit you can see as well we have some transactions going on people are already sending ethereum on this testnet back and forth as well some other tokens you have here transaction success token transfer success if you click on it you can have all the information you know already from etherscan.io so you can see that this block is already confirmed it took it 4.3 seconds roughly and it has already 34 blocks confirmation you can see where it's coming from where it's going to, what was transferred, in this case some Direwolf tokens, and down here you can see some additional information. As said before, you know this already from Etherscan. If we go back quickly on the Block Explorer, you can go up in here, you can see all the transactions, for example, you can see the validated and the pending transactions. You have also some information about the blocks, the uncles and the fork blocks, and if you go to Tokens, this is really interesting. You can see now we have a shit ton of tokens here. We have basically the Ethereum and all the ERC20 tokens in here. So you can see this blockchain already contains all the tokens. This will be the same on the productive mainnet once it's launched. And I guess we just need a couple more weeks until we see the mainnet going live. We have, of course, Hex with the total supply of Hex. We have all the other tokens you know. We have some stable coins as well. And people are already transacting these tokens on the testnet. So this is already really nice to see how it goes and if you're still not sure if this is legit i think it's pretty damn legit because first we have it here on the gitlab we have all the information published on the gitlab.com website second we have david feeder he just tweeted out it's the legit gitlab the pulse chain.com testnet has begun so this means already a lot even if we don't have a confirmation from richard but richard is actually at the moment in Liechtenstein, where it's like three in the morning so i guess he's probably sleeping but of course i got you covered from the lead dev of the pulse chain network the only block confirmation you need for the testnet is from the legend himself david feeder so he just retweeted the tweet from david so this is confirmation enough the testnet for the pulse chain network is live this was it already for today's update. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and as always, stay long and fat, stay safe out there, and see you in the next one. Peace.